In this video, we'll explore the powerful and meaningful name of Jesus found in the Bible. Branch, bread of life, the bridegroom. Each of these names reveal a unique aspect of who Jesus is and the significance of his role in our lives. Join us as we dive into the depths of these names and uncover their truths, meanings, and relevance for us today. If you want to deepen your understanding of Jesus and grow in your faith, this is the video that must be watched. Don't miss out on this enlightening and enriching discussion on the name of Jesus in the Bible. Share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on spiritual growth and biblical teachings. Without further ado, let's get started. In the Bible, Jesus is referred to by many names that reveal different aspects of his character and mission. One of these names is Branch, signifying his role as the shoot that will come from the stump of Jesse, bringing new life and hope to the world. Jesus is the offshoot of the line of David and paradoxically also the root. He is the vine on which we depend on for life nourishment. The Life Application Study Bible notes, the third edition, the branch is the Messiah. The meaning of the stone with seven facets is unclear. The Life Application Study Bible goes on and says, it means, number one, the branch himself, the Messiah, as the foundation stone of the temple. Number two, the rock struck by Moses that um, produced water for the Israelites in Numbers chapter 20, verses 7 to 11. It goes on to give us a third one, the renewed spiritual priesthood of the church in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. These verses, fulfilled hundreds of years later by Jesus Christ, God said, I will remove the sins of this land in a single day. And this was fulfilled in Christ, who suffered for our sins once and for all, to bring you safely home to God in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. You cannot remove your sins by your own effort. You must allow God to remove them through Jesus Christ. Jesus is known as the bread of life, emphasizing that he is the sustenance and nourishment of our souls, satisfying our deep hunger and thirst. Christ being the bread of life in John chapter 6, verses 32 to 35, there are four facet, fascinating points here. The people requested the bread of life. The people called Jesus Lord. But how much they understood of his deity is not known, though. Apparently, it was just an address of respect. However, the point is clear in the Bible. When a person asks for the bread of God, he must call on Jesus, Lord, and be ready to submit to him as Lord, serving Jesus day by day. In the Life Application Study Bible, it says, people eat bread to satisfy physical hunger and sustain physical life. We can satisfy spiritual hunger and sustain spiritual life by only by a right relationship with Jesus Christ. No wonder he calls himself the bread of life. But bread must be eaten to sustain life, and Christ must be invited into our daily walk to sustain spiritual life. For example, the bread of life is covered in John chapter 6, verses 22 to 71. First, breaking that down, first you'll see the true manna in John chapter 6, verses 27 to 34. Then you'll also see Jesus, the food of eternal life in John chapter 6, verses 35 to 51, and partaking of the Son of Man, covered in John chapter 6, verses 52 to 59. Lastly, Jesus is called the bridegroom, symbolizing his deep love and commitment to his people, the church, as a groom is to his bride. F.S. Bruce Collection says this about the bridegroom, and I quote, The figure of the bridegroom is frequently used in the Old Testament either implicitly or explicitly of Jehovah. In Hosea chapters 2, verse 16, for instance, Jehovah says, we will call me, my husband, 
And he says in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 5, as the bridegroom rejoice over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. The Lord often depicts himself as the bridegroom. In a reply to the Pharisees, he says concerning himself, can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? In Mark chapter 2, verse 19. Again, in, this, in the parable of the foolish virgins, he is the bridegroom in Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. In that great final beautiful vision, in Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, the church is depicted as a bride adorned for her husband. These names remind us of the richness and depths of Jesus, who Jesus is, and what he means to all of us believers. As we reflect on these names, may we grow in our understanding and appreciation of the incredible gift of Jesus in our lives today. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content just like this. God bless you and God bless your family. Thanks.